Good evening, everybody. Good afternoon. I apologise. Not good evening. Bloody plonker. How are we all today? Hope we're okay. I'm just going to switch that over to that for now. Right, good. Everyone can see that. We're going back to TW after the this. It was all right. It was enjoyable. Don't get me wrong. Pro Wrestling Sim was all right. It was all right. It wasn't too bad. It was just a not as good version of TEW. So, uh, yeah. But we're, we're back on track now. Um, I have booked... I have booked the next show. I had enough time to book that. But after that, no, I haven't. Before anybody asks. So, uh, yeah. But we are getting quicker. and I am getting quicker and better at booking it. So yes, yeah, so I'll give you a few. I'll give it a few minutes for everybody to join in. I wonder who's going to be the first one to. Oh, uh, forgot to put my webcam. I'm really disorganised today. Right, so that's that. Let's just figure this out. Check, check out my bad self. So, right. There we go. Uh, we'll move that over here for now. If anybody's in here yet? One person. Say hello. Probably say hello, whoever you are. Just going to give it everybody a few minutes. I'm going to post in some TW groups. Bear with us if anybody's just messaged in the chat. Let me just check, actually. Nope, no one yet. That's fine. So that's posted in that one. There's two more TW groups. Let me see if I can find the other two quickly enough. Some are more prominent than others. So there we go. That's the other one. Still no one in. Hmm. Where's Dave? Where's Josh? Where are you, lads? Usually one of you is in by now. Right, where's the other TW group? Come on, where are you? Maybe I won't be able to find it. Usually if I keep scrolling my wall, I find a post in one of them. Is that it? No, that's not it. I've already posted that one. Come on, where's the other one? No. No. I'll give up in a minute. Oh, is that it? No. No, well.
I hope people did enjoy last stream I did where I played Pro Wrestling Sim. It was alright for what it was when I I think the equivalent of it is if you want a streamlined version of TEW, then Pro Wrestling Sim's the one for you. Um because TEW can be quite taxing, quite uh you have to put a lot of time into it. But then on the flip side of it is is I think just TW is like a better version. It's like Football Manager full version, isn't it? You know what you're getting. Right, I can't find that other one. I'm just going to post on my Twitter. Right, anybody in yet? No. That's a weird one. Where are you all? I'm not starting until you join. All right. Oh, now we just play the waiting game, I suppose. Um. Yeah, for anybody that didn't watch the the last stream, um, Baron Corbin won the Royal Rumble because I stupidly forgot to set the. Or did I? Did I forget? I think I didn't forget. I think I actually just wanted to see who who the AI would book to win the Royal Rumble, and they booked Baron Corbin to win. Um. So I'm like, okay. So that's what I'm. That's what I'm. I'm gonna try and turn chicken shit into chicken salad. So yeah. So the push for Baron Corbin begins today. So join in the fun. But yeah, I'm just gonna wait. Usually, there's one or two that turn up in a minute. So we'll just sit here. People who are watching the replay on YouTube, I do apologise. I know this is a bit boring. You might want to skip a few minutes just on the off chance. You can all skip back if it comes down to it, but I don't really like to start playing this game until there's a few people in. There we go. There's Josh. Hello, Josh. Josh, no one's been on for seven minutes. Usually you and Dave are on straight away. I didn't know what to do myself. I've been talking to myself like a bloody madman. How's work? Are you okay? Oh, there we go. I've got one more. Oh, that's Josh. Oh, do you know what? I'm so sorry, Dave. I just called you Josh, didn't I? You're right, Dave. <laughs> sorry, mate. I've had no one on here. Yeah, I know. Sorry, Dave. How are you? How's the twins, Dave? Hello, Josh. Welcome aboard. I was panicking for a minute. I didn't think any of you would, uh, you any of you two were turning up. I was here for seven minutes, rambling, trying to trying to waste a bit of time. I've, um, Dave. You'll be happy to know I've booked one show ready to go. Yeah, back to TEW. No more pro wrestling sim. Yeah. You can blame Josh for last, for yesterday. Oh, not yesterday, sorry, last stream. His fault. I'm sending him the invoice for the 18 quid it cost me. It's all right. So basically with PWS, I would say it's like a streamlined version of TW. And I would I would put it I would call it it's like it's like if you're playing football manager and you want something streamlined, you play FM Touch. Which Josh knows too well because he he's, he's told me himself he prefers playing FM Touch. So there is a market there for people who just want to play. And as a streamer, um, it's a lot easier to stream PWS than it is TW. It's an absolute bloody nightmare. 
uh, streaming TW, but TW is a better game at the moment. Now, I'm not saying in time that PWS won't get better. The good thing about it is it's got a small community that posts stuff on stream. Who's my figurehead? It's Roman Reigns, isn't it? I'm not changing that. Are you mad? Who would you, who would you have as the figurehead of WWE? It might it might not be um, Roman Reigns forever if I have anything to say about it. Yeah, I know. Shh, Josh, shh. Don't tell everyone. Shh. <laughs> Even though I've got it in the title and I've also said it at the start of the video, but yeah. Yeah, Dave, the, the, um, the Baron Corbin push starts today, mate. So you're going to get a lot of uh, Corbin shoved down your throat. I hope you're ready for it. Yeah, Mr. Royal Rumble. Exactly, Dave. Mr. Royal Rumble. I'm, I'm turning chicken shit into chicken salad with that. Yeah, I assume it did. Yeah, it must. It, it automatically saved it, yeah, Dave. So, um, yeah, it auto saved. I'm not going to replay it. I'm just going to go with what the what it says. And every year... If I do this as a long-term save, every year I will have the AI choose the Royal Rumble winner. So there you go. Right, on that note, are you two ready? Yes, Baron Corbin. Happy Corbin. Ah, that's a good idea. King Corbin. Mm, I like Happy Corbin. I like. I liked it when he was... Yeah, Bum Corbin. I like Bum Corbin. I'm going to change it to Bum Corbin. Right, hold on. Spoiler alert. Try not to look at that screen. No, I can't call him. I can't call him Bum Corbin, can I? Happy Corbin. I call him Happy Corbin. I liked it. I liked him when he was Happy Corbin. With Matt Capmoss. I thought that was a pretty good double act, to be honest. There you go. Happy Corbin. That's what we like to see. Rumble Corbin. <laughs> okay. All right. I actually quite like the sound of Rumble Crumble. Uh, Rumble Crumble. Rumble Corbin. There you go. Rumble Corbin. He's had, he's had three gimmick changes in the last two seconds. There you go. Rumble crum rumble crum I keep calling him Rumble Crumble now. Rumble Corbin. No, I'm changing it to Happy Corbin. I'm going back. He's going back to his previous gimmick. Rumble Rumble Corbin's too hard for me to say without me saying Rumble Crumble. So he's going back to Happy Corbin, sorry. Yeah, so if I show you the storylines, um, Dave, you'll be happy to know in between when I was doing this earlier, uh, storylines, so there we go. Hold on, let me see if you can see what I can see. No, you can't. I'm sorry if you can see the, the show only and nothing else. Bear with me. Uh, I'll check the messages in a second. Bear with us. Right, right. Let me see the messages first. Yeah, I'm still doing the evolution story. Yeah, Batista's a part time. Is it good that you don't see? Yeah, you you accidentally saw it just now, didn't you? Because I was trying to get that other screen up. Sorry if you saw that. I'm trying to make sure that you don't get to see it so it doesn't spoil it for you. Uh, Batista can wrestle. Yeah, he's part-time wrestler on here, I think. Anyway, let's just go through the storylines. So we've got, obviously, we've got AJ Lee versus Ronda Rousey. That's a raw one. So what I've done, Dave, is I've put the, the brand next to the storyline so I know which one's which for which brands. So it makes it easier. Um... Yeah, Baron Corbin versus Seth Rollins. That's going to be a new feud leading up to WrestleMania. I told you, I'm going all in on Happy Corbin. Yeah, I need to change that actually to Happy Corbin versus 
Happy Corbin. There we go. So we've got Happy Corbin. Um, we've got Bailey versus Iris Sky on SmackDown. Bianca Belair versus Jay Cargill on SmackDown, which is initially a them tagging up together. Um, Braun Breaker versus Walter on Raw. CM Punk versus Drew McIntyre on Raw. Evolution versus Judgment Day on Raw. Happy Corbin versus Seth Rollins on Raw. Logan Paul versus Kevin Owens on SmackDown. LWO, which is the uh, the tag team of Angel Garza and Roberto Carrillo versus Carly and Primo. And then the other one is Rey Mysterio and Ivelisse. No, Rey Mysterio, sorry, and Selena versus Santos and Ivelisse. Um, and then we got Okada versus Nakamura. Ok Okada debuted at the Royal Rumble, so I'm starting the storyline now. Rhea Ripley versus Becky Lynch, which is a Raw one. And then the Bloodline versus the Coalition. Which I've now put on. It's now a SmackDown one. I've got rid of Seth Rollins from that storyline. It's Cody Rhodes versus Roman Reigns and The Rock, basically. Right, so let's start this show. Let me just check the chat first before I forget. I don't want him as a heel, though, Josh. He's a... He's a good guy, so Happy Corbin sounds better. If he's got Royal Corbin, everyone's going to boo him, even if he is a good guy. Yeah, I, I do have direction, Dave. I am pretty good at foreshadowing. I'm not just throwing shit at the wall and seeing what sticks, you know. <laughs> no, it, did, it probably did come across like that, though. It probably wasn't. Right, I just wanted to make sure you can see what I can see. So, um... Basically, just to try and get the storyline going for CM Punk and Drew um, and Evolution Judgment Day, I add, I've added a post-match match with a six-man match and I did an angle just to advance their storylines because I didn't have enough room on Raw to put it in. So it was one It was the one, the one of the few times I actually wish I had a three-hour Raw to fit it all in. Bum-ass Corbin. Ah... Now I want to change it to bum ass Corbin. I'll do that afterwards. Right. Anyway, so we did the promo. The promo went well. 81 rating. But bish bash bosh. Uh I did an angle where basically Walter attacked Bron Breaker, but I forgot to put it in the title. Uh only got a 64 rating. Litany, not enough star power as far as they're concerned. So I did a singles match with Bron Breaker defeating Ludwig Kaiser. Uh, again, Bron Breaker only got a 59 rated match rating uh, performance. Sorry, I did a I did a story. I did a, an angle with Otis. They love Otis. Oh, Lone Wolf Corbin sounds good. Yeah, I'm changing it to Lone Wolf. What about lone? What about lone wolf bum ass Corbin? <laughs> lone ass bum ass Corbin. Lone 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 ass. What about lone ass Corbin? <laughs> Bring them together. Lone wolf ass. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just being silly, everyone. Um, did you ever test what your friend said? What did my friend say? Lone Corbin. Yeah, lone Corbin sounds pretty cool as well. Exactly, Dave. He can't be a bum. He won the Royal Rumble. What about Bumble? Bumble Bumble Corbin. Oh, do I need to? Yeah, but I feel like that's. I feel like I I, I can. I feel like I'm okay with editing the skills. But I feel like adding years to their experience just to make sure they do better. I think that's cheating. I think. I think. But Bron needs to work his way up to that, I think. So I'm going to leave the experience. But uh, I quite bum boy call the no, no, Dave. Come on, come on. None of these, none of these, uh, none of these rude words, you young man. I'm going to have to have a word with you. <laughs> right then, let's crack on. So you know, like I said about um, a few wrestlers pointing out about Otis. Um, yeah. So I decided to put Otis in a angle where he's microphone skills, I think. So I've put 
I put Otis in a freestyle angle where he's on the microphone and it got a 99 rating. So whoever done this database really, really likes Otis and Baron Corbin. But Otis was superb working without a script. He had the crowd in the palm of his hand the, the entire time. I'm thinking Baron Corbin versus Otis next WrestleMania for the title. And I think that'll be the new Stone Cold versus The Rock uh, story, uh, the, the story arc. The two greatest workers in the WWE going against each other. You never know. I could always add Otis to the Seth Rollins, Baron Corbin storyline at some point. You never know. You never know. We can always change things up. Right. In a match that's superb wrestling and great heat, the Alpha Academy defeated the Viking Raiders when Otis pinned Eric. So the push for Otis begins. 83 rating. Um... At any point, if my mic just stops working, please let me know because it's the cable is very dodgy. I think it's actually the mic that's broke because the thing, the, the pins inside the mic, they just, I think they're fucked. Sorry for swearing. I think they're, they're buggered. So just keep me posted. 99. Somebody's really souped up bloody Otis, aren't they? I think Otis needs to be the figurehead for WWE. I have room on Baron Corbin. Right, uh, a little too short. I had to cut a few minutes on each match because I went over too much, so at least we'll know that for next time. I'm going to have a look at Otis's profile after this so we can see why he's so souped up. Uh, Ronda Rousey attacks, attacks AJ Lee, got 74 rating. And then I did a six-man where it was the four horsewomen, even though there's only three of them in this match. Ronda, Shayna and Zoe versus AJ Lee, Liv Morgan and Natalia. A standard women's feud at the moment. Uh, Ronda Rousey submitted AJ Lee with an armbar. Um, got a 78 rating. Happy Corbin defeated Shinsei Nakamura in 15 minutes by pinfall. This got a 79 rating. Uh, it's letting me know. Oh, why have I got Sami Zayn as... Oh, that's from the previous data. I must have not picked that up. Someone remind me to get rid of um, Sami Zayn from as his manager. Anyway. Let me just check the chat so I don't forget anything. 2.0. Yeah, next time I'll give Otis a singles match. And... Uh, with someone good. Maybe Okada. There we go. Okada versus Otis. Good main event at WrestleMania. So I got Okada his win back against Tozawa after Tozawa like, weirdly defeated him in that auto book one that we did. And he got an 81 rating in the match. And then Nakamura. Um, basically, I forgot to change the title, but Nakamura attacked Okada after the match and that got a 70 rating. Yes, I know Nakamura. Nakamura moaning that Sami Zayn is his manager. Right, and this was the post-show match. Only got a 63 rating, though. So let's have a look at Batista. Batista's only got a 63 rating for this. So he was the one that everybody else was perfect other than him. So this storyline won't be going for very long. I think I think WrestleMania, it'll be maybe before WrestleMania. It might, I might just do this for Elimination Chamber and then after that, do something else. We still lost popularity. I oh, know we didn't. That's a first. So we got an 83 rating for that, Josh. So that's good. JWO. Yeah, it could be a possibility down the road. Yeah, I know. But the only reason I did the post show in the end was just to basically just fit them in. Next time I just won't bother. You don't I don't always have to have stuff going on for storylines in every show. We can space it out a bit. We would have gained um, popularity in seven Canadian regions, but growth was restricted to the limited number of viewers there. So does that mean I need to up upgrade? No, because it's, it's Netflix, isn't it? So it's nothing I'm doing. Nothing I can do with that, is there? Anyway, probably the best show we've done so far on TW. 
So we're gonna give ourselves a pat. I've got to give myself a pat on the back for that. There you go. Pat on the back. Pat on the shoulder. Sorry. Broadcast again. Another. Yeah, but I got it. I got it in there now. They're, they're, they're flipping. They're, they're giving me lots of money. I can't get another broadcaster, Josh. I could eventually just upgrade the WWE network and just do that, couldn't I? And just have all my stuff on there. Uh, yeah, you can see that. That's all right. So, Yuka Sakakazi, whatever her name is, is it? Is contract's expiring? So I think. We gotta raid her, haven't we? What has she got? That's not her, is it? You oh I don't know. Right, okay. Let's see if we can sign her away from AEW. Right, we made an offer for her. Raw Raw got a one point one nine six 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 nine six nine nine viewers. All right, there you go. Right, let's have a look at Otis's profile. Let me just check the chat. I don't want you to think I'm being rude. Oh yeah, I could do that. Yeah, it is worldwide, isn't it? Netflix. Yeah, I'll do that in a sec. Let's have a look at Otis. Josh, anything here that stands out for you? But Otis, the reason why he's so good. Let me know if you want me to scroll down. I'm a couple of weeks behind on the AEW uh, stuff. I know what's I know what's um, happening. I just haven't had a chance to watch it. Hey, don't you be fat shaming, Josh. He's probably about the same size as me, you cheeky bastard. No, I'm not as big as him actually. I'm taller than him, so that helps. 90 brawling, so elite fighting skills. No way. What are you saying no way to? Me and Ine being as big as him. 86 charisma, that'll be it then. He has got good charisma. Do you remember him? Oh, do you remember him uh, when he was heavy in Heavy Machinery when they did that thing with Mandy Rose? He was so popular. Do you know what we should do? What we'll do, we'll search for wrestlers with star quality on here. If we do start, we do not, if we do 90 for charisma, let's see who they've got. Oh, there's a lot here. Right, so let's just star quality. We'll do that. Still a lot. So they've got Oscar, or AJ Lee. Let's see if there's any that stand out that shouldn't be here. No. Oh, Johnny Gagano. We could push Johnny Gagano. Kofi Kingston, LA Knight. Uh, the Miz, obviously. So, who, who? Defo, push him hard. Who? Who? who do you, oh, oh, Johnny Gagano, yeah. Seamus is old, though, isn't he? He's, he's long. I mean, he can still go. He's 46, so you know what I mean? I want to try and push young wrestlers. Right, let's see what happens if we change that to 80. Change them to 80. There's a few more options. And then if we do, we'll do females first, so it makes it easier for us to go through. Uh, just seeing if there's any surprise. I'm, Dakota Kai, maybe one worth pushing eventually. Peyton Royce, obviously, probably a good one. Sonia Deville. Right, let's look at men's now. Uh, in fact, let's look at... Let's, let's, let me just set the age for a maximum. Uh, if we say 35 maximum age, and we'll see who comes up on here. Andrade, Angelo Dawkins, Austin Fury, Bad Bunny, Chris Bay, Dominic Mysterio. Yeah, Montez Ford we're gonna push as a single star at some point, by the way. Not not anytime soon though. Right, let me just reset that. 
Why is it not resetting? Reset you. Oh, that's why. Um, right, we need to go into the editor, don't we, Josh? Editor. Sorry, let me just catch up with the check. Uh, the chat. Razor and Akram are trash. In real life, yeah. But if they've got good skills on here, we might as well push them, even though it's not realistic, is it? But yeah. We've sort of got a European stable, haven't we? Well, no, we haven't. Every, they're all like in different stables, aren't they? Let me just go through the stables again. Uh, stables. We've got catch point. They're they're basically catch point are in a way because you've got you got Regal, Tyler Bate, and Pete Dunne. They're Europeans. But then and Charlie Dempsey, who obviously was born in America, but he's half English. You know, I know they got Matt Riddle and Joe and Jeff Cobb there, but that could be sort of like a thing. Uh, Imperium, they're they're a European group, aren't they? When you think about it, uh, the Brawling Brutes. There you go. We've got the Brawling Brutes. They they've got a lot of uh, Europeans. They've got Seamus and because they've got a stable with Seamus, Drew McIntyre. I, Eric and Ivar, Killian Day, Nikki Cross, and Vala. So they could be like that. At some point, I will be calling up Gallus. They are on the, the verge of getting called up, so they will be added to the Brawling Brutes. And eventually, I could always have Seamus and, and Gallus go off and, as their own thing. Uh, the Hurt Business, obviously, we, we know about them. Judgment Day, New Day, War Dogs, Happy Corbin. I still need to figure out what I'm going to do with the, the Wyatt family group. Uh, who I'm going to put in there and stuff like that. I, oh, hold on, everyone. Bear with us. All right, Matthew. Yeah, are you? Yeah. Okay. Oh, right, okay, no worries. I'm in no immediate rush. I'm all right for a few more weeks or, or even a month or two a year. It's not, it's not like, they're, like they've said. I mean, the, 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 at the moment, it's just they've started the Section 21 process. I've, I've heard nothing since. And then, obviously, they've got to go, like, to potentially take me through court. And I told them I don't particularly want to do that because it's not fair on the landlord because I don't want him having to cost money in legal costs. It's just it's difficult for me to find somewhere for about the same money I'm paying now. I haven't really got the money for paying more. I don't mind paying in it like six hundred uh, and that, but uh, that's really as much as I can do, or just slightly that, but more than that. But yeah, so yeah, so like, um, when would I be? A oh yeah, so so we're in a couple of weeks. Are you gonna get in touch with me and then take it from there? Yeah. Yeah, I'm one oh seven, mate. If you if you want, I mean, come on, sorry. Yeah. 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 
Yeah, there's no rush. Yeah, yeah, w yeah. Would you give me the first option on it? Oh, that's sorted. Oh, yeah. Well, I'll keep it, and then just next time you're down here, as long as you give me like 24 hours notice, I'll make sure I'm in the flat to give you the key back. And then obviously we can have a quick chat if you wanted to get to, like, you know, just to get a grip on things really. But yeah, so yeah, I appreciate that. Do you want to just message me tomorrow when you've dropped off the key or something? And then um, it's just because my girlfriend, she likes to make sure that it's like there's space for everything because she's, she's very organized. So she's got boxes for everything. So uh, she's probably getting a bit, because I said it's slightly smaller. I think she's getting a bit like, Oh, because she's got like like every woman I know, and I don't mean that in a nasty way, but they just got so much more stuff than us men. It's just like, yeah, but yeah, no, I appreciate that. Cheers for getting in touch with me. I'll leave you to it, but yeah, just let me know. Just message me or something when you when you've dropped it off, and I and then I'll let you know one way or another whether we're gonna. I won't mess you about. I won't keep you waiting. I'll just let you know there and then. Um, but as far as I'm concerned, it's it's a nice flat. It's just like I said. Um. You just got to get it back to up to a sound, which I appreciate because I, I appreciate the fact that you're willing to do that. So, but yeah, anyway, I'll let you go. But enjoy the rest of your day. Yeah. I don't know because I'm not a landlord. No, no, it's. Uh... Well, the lift hasn't worked for weeks. The gate, the front gates are always open, so it's, it breaks a lot and there's never anybody fixing it. Um and the cleaners only in once a once a week as well, which is ridiculous, really. So, yeah, yeah, it used to be a few times a week. Hello. Oh, your signal's going. Hello? Hello? Yeah. Bear with us, lads. I've finished the call. I'm just going to leave them a quick audio clip. Oh, yeah, mate, your signal went. Um, but yeah, as far as I know, the management of the the building's not as good as it used to be. Um, I don't, I can't, I can't, I don't know what's happened. I think some there's obviously had a new company take over and not as good. Um, but yeah, just um, it, yeah, I don't. I, other than that, I don't, I don't know what else to say. Sorry, I can try and find out though. Um, but yeah, just let me know when you drop that key off. I really appreciate it. But yeah, all right, I'll speak to you soon, Matthew. All the best. Bye. Right, sorry about that everyone. I'm back up and ready to go now. Basically, I'm trying to find a new flat. There's a flat that's literally three doors down on the same floor as me. Um, uh, it's slightly smaller, but basically the guy was telling me that in a few weeks time, um, it should be ready because the building gets a lot of condensation. So he wants to put some anti-mold paint on it um, and do some other things as well to make it all nice. So he's going to drop a key off in my little locker that I've got tomorrow. Yeah, I've got to move out of my current place because they want to put my rent up from 600 a month to 700 a month. Um, I can't really afford it. And even if I can, I'm not doing it out of just out of principle. So, um, um, but yeah, so basically that's that really. So I just he just rung me because I asked him if I could have a look at the flat properly because I've only been there once before because I used to get on well with the woman that lived there so I went there once and had a cup of tea there and a chat with her uh the the rent for the smaller flat is the same amount of money that I'm paying currently at the moment so it'll still be 600 a month which is what I can afford so yeah but it's 600 a month it's not too bad the flat I've got now is bigger but the other flat's just as decent. It's just not as big. I, I, no, 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 no. Only a cup of tea. Not always does I, I got that on the brain all the time, mate. Uh, don't get me wrong. I did fancy her at that. I did fancy her at the time, but um, we just become mates. And she was have at that on that particular day. She was really like vulnerable because she was really upset about something. So the last thing I, I wouldn't do that to. Uh, I wouldn't take advantage of somebody when they're 
vulnerable like that. So, um, but yeah, so um, but yeah, so hopefully I've got my housing situation sorted because my current landlord did a section twenty one on me because I refused to pay the increase. So if I hadn't found, if I didn't find somewhere, they would have took me to court. Um, might have cost me money, even though I get free legal aid. So I'm hoping to find a solution where it doesn't have to go to court. Right. Anyway, no, it's a different landlord. Different landlord, Josh. Yeah, different landlord. He seems really nice. This one. He's he, he looks like he's one to make sure that you you live in a decent flat. So he could have quite easily just said you can move in tomorrow, but then the flat would have had mold all over it. And so he seems like a really decent bloke. And he's given me first first refusal on it. So I'll have a look with my partner on. Friday night, tomorrow night, we'll have a quick look at it so she can get an idea. Because as we all know, we're all in relationships here, um, and Dave has two girlfriends. Women like to women like to put women like to buy loads of things, and they like to be very organised. And my partner, she likes to buy things, and she likes to take up space. If she sees space, she'll fill she'll fill it. I've got boxes for everything. She's very well organised, but it really annoys me because I like space. But it's the compromise I make. So, uh, and it makes her feel more at home because I don't want her to feel like, sounds like a man. What do you mean? Oh, for God's sake, Dave. You're literally like quag. You are quagmire, aren't you? I'm amazed you don't go giggity, uh, giggity after everything that you say. You're like a real life version of quagmire, aren't you? He is, isn't he? Who else but Dave? <laughs> Instead of who else but Quagmire, <laughs> who else but Dave? Right, I can't remember where we were. What were we looking at on here? I went back on the roster for some reason. I can't remember why. I don't know. Right, let's have a look at the in-game editor. Networks, is it networks, is it? Uh, TV... No, not TV shows. Broadcasters, there we go. Net. Oh, for God's sake, Netflix. Oh, there's loads of Netflix. Let's try Netflix this. Right, let me see if you can see my screen. Yes, you can. Yeah, Dave Meyer. Giggity, giggity. Oh, it would not surprise me, Dave, that not only are you on... You, you else call you Dave Meyer, or I also worry you're on a register and somewhere. No, I'm joking. I'm only joking. I'm only messing. You're going to do a save in Scotland. God help God help everybody, Josh, when you do a, a save in Scotland. You'll be bored within five minutes. You should download the file I've got where you get um, money when you're... Um, it's, a, it's, a file, it's an editor file I've got because I use it for my Rafe Rover save. Yeah, I know. See, even Dave knows what you're like, Josh. The file I've got gives um, pro it has like decent, pri really good prize money in the Scottish League. So it helps like certain clubs if they have a good run in the Scottish Cup, they get loads of money, and then you can build facilities and make Scott the team better. So it makes my save more interesting. Well done. Who are you managing at the moment, then, Josh? Yeah, but one whole season's a long-term save for Josh on FM. <laughs> right, Josh, Josh, can we get you back on track, mate? Hold on, go on. Oh, you haven't picked a team yet. Right, can you, can you, might go Hearts, okay. Yeah, Hearts is a pretty, I did a decent save with Hearts. Um, can we get you back on track now? What am I supposed to put in here? Can you see what I can see? I hope you can, yeah. You know, when you said we need to change it for a different, because obviously in certain in certain places they weren't doing so well. I don't know. Right, let's go back then. We need to go back out of this. Oh no, I nearly exited the whole bloody game then. Uh, uh, is it broadcasting? Broadcasting, there we go. It's just normal Netflix, but it's all, it, it's all small here. Why is it all small? It's Netflix.
Oh, was it Dave? Sorry, Dave. I apologise. I called Dave. Um, I called Dave your name earlier when he first came on because I thought it was you. I'm getting you too confused now. Why is the the deal with with Netflix I've got? Why is the coverage so bad? Hold on, let's have a look at the, yeah, the TV shows one's just as bad as well. Why is Netflix so bad? Yeah, if you find the right one, you can do it in, okay. So it's normal Netflix, it's just the normal one. So we go back into editor, in-game editor, broadcasters, wasn't it? Broadcasters, Netflix. So it was this one, normal one. Think. So we just do company size. Oh no, we we'll leave that actually. Uh, so what do we put for wrestling stands pro risk levels high? Right, let me just see what you put in. Should be huge in USA, British Isles, then medium everywhere else coverage. Can't see the screen. Ah, oh, okay. Sorry. Bear with me. Right, just two seconds, I've got to message my mate while you're looking at that. Right, I need to uh, put my phone on silent now as well. Sorry about that, everyone, earlier. But it was good that I answered that because that was an important call. Click coverage. Hold on, you can't see the screen, can't see. What do you mean you can't see? I can see it on the... You can see it. I can see it on here. Netflix. Oh, click coverage. Oh, okay. Sorry, lads. Right, okay. Coverage. Right, have I got to add another screen for that? Probably. Yep. Bear with us. There you go. You can see it now. So, should be huge in USA, Canada, and British Isles. Okay, right, let me do that then. Let me sort that out. Put Japan, should we put Japan medium? Big, medium. They've got quite a big, we'll put big for Japan. They're not huge, but they are big. Oh, yeah, Netflix that we're on about, not WWE, aren't we? Should be huge everywhere, shouldn't it? Huge everywhere. Let's just do huge everywhere. Right, so we're just doing huge everywhere. There you go. Minimum popularity. Can you see that now? Right. You can see that screen, can't you? Do I need to change anything else on this screen here that you can see now? You know, it says minimum popularity, or is that... That's that's the show I've got on, isn't it? No, yeah, 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 cool. Right, save. Done. So hopefully that'll be a little bit better moving forward. Right. Next WWE show, SmackDown in three days. Oh, hold on. Somebody's not happy. Carrillo's not... Oh. Carrillo's not happy. Just got to give him a bonus. Cheer him up a bit. There we go. He's happy. Uh, right, okay. Let's just skip forward. A day. Cheers for... Uh, Bearing with us when I had that phone call, lads. I was trying to end it as quickly as possible. Uh, let me 
just hold on, let me just check the inbox see if there's anything worth telling you. Nah, nothing worth telling you in the inbox items just yet, so we'll skip another day. Right, bear with us, I just got a message my girlfriend while I'm waiting for that to process. Right, that's that done. Back on track now, everyone. Um, Josh, have you heard about Paul Pogba being banned from football for four years? By the way, we've signed Zaka, Zaka Zaki, whatever her name is, from AEW. We've stolen her. Will Ospreay's gone back to New Japan on a on a permanent deal from AEW, so that's a bit annoying. Yeah, career over. Couldn't happen to a nicer person. I don't know. I don't know why he's left AEW. It's the same. I'm doing a save on on FM. I'm doing a save on FM um, as Man United. And it's got Jim Radcliffe as the owner. And in the first season, he retires. I don't understand that at all. But yeah, Pogba is a bell end. Couldn't have happened to a nicer person. Right, can you see that? No, you can't see the news. Um, I'm just seeing if there's anything worth telling you. No, there ain't. Not in the news section. Right, I think this is Smackdown now. There we go, we're on Smackdown. No backstage incidents, which is good. So, right, I'm going to put this over here so you can't see what I'm doing. So there you go. Don't want to spoil it for you. Lot. I thought we were. I thought we were booking this together, aren't we? Are we booking this together? Or do you not want to know? Do you want me to book it so you so you can have a bit of a surprise, or do you want to book it together? Because Dave, I thought you wanted it. I didn't. I don't. You don't like spoilers and that, do you? You want to let me know. I'll start booking it while I wait. I'll figure it. I'll wait for you lot to respond. Right. Let's have a look. Well, I know one thing I need to do first. If I'm going quiet, it's because I'm concentrating, so don't worry too much. Right, let me check the chat. Oh, you can see that. Why can you see that? That doesn't make sense to me. You shouldn't be seeing that. I've just... Uh... Oh, I know why. Uh, two seconds. Yes, Xbox does need a better photo. In fact, I totally agree with you. Um, you don't mind. I think we prefer all shows to be booked up. Let's book together. I know what you're saying about booking them in advance before I start the save, but I don't have time to do that. Yeah, okay, so I'll just, I'll leave it on there so you can see the screen. I need to put my webcam face back over here. We'll leave it over here for now. We'll figure it out afterwards. Um, 
Yeah, let's let's give X Pac a new face. Good good call. Um let me just book this first. Right, six pack being bushed, being pushed as we speak. I'm determined to make make them the most over group in the in the world. I want the most uh stable, sorry. Right, X Pac. There you go. There you go. He's got a different face now. Are you happy? Is that better? So you're happy to see this booking thing, Dave? Are you sure? I know Josh doesn't mind booking it together, but I'm just saying... Hey anyway, let me just keep booking it. Let me just keep doing it. Call that a six pack attack. There you go. So we'll do that after the match. We haven't had, uh, I don't think we've had John Cena wrestle in a singles match on here yet. We need, to, we need to make full use of him. I know who we're going to have John Cena go against. Oh, John Cena's not on here, is he? Uh, we'll do Kevin Owens. No, I did that wrong, didn't I? No, that is right, yeah. Do cheap win. Yes, Kevin Owens, I know you're furious, but you're just going to have to get over it. Right, let me just check what you're saying. Sorry. This one's Smackdown. Right, let me just tell you what the storylines are for Smackdown. So we've got Io Sky and Bailey. Um Yeah, so we've got Bianca Bella and Jade. At the moment they're a tag team, but eventually they're gonna uh you know, something's gonna happen. I won't go into too much details. Uh Logan Paul versus Kevin Owens. So I'm going to change that match in a second and have Logan Paul interfere. Uh, we've got the, the LWO and Legrado. Can you see what I can see? Yeah, you can. LWO versus Legrado. Uh, and then we've got the Bloodline versus Coalition. I should change that just to... I'm going to change that to Cody. There you go, makes it easier. So we've got one, two, three, four, five storylines for SmackDown. Let me just check the chat. Yeah, she's in a tag team with Bianca. They're, they're basically destroying all the women's division at the moment as a, ta as a baby face tag team. So um, what we'll do is, 
I'm thinking another si another six person six six man. No, actually, I'm going to do a uh, I'm going to do a four versus four match. I think. We'll do women. So we'll do Bailey. Uh, Charlotte. And then we'll do Bianca, Jade, and then we'll have Io, um, Carrie Sane, Asuka, is Dakota a heel? No, she's not even on here. We'll put Peyton Royce in there. Yeah, get the rock in there and an angle every show. Yeah, that's a good idea. Do we do... Here's an idea for you, Josh. Do we do the rock and Cody Rhodes doing both on the microphone or have, like, Paul Heyman involved as well? So all three of them, and then we do the angle as microphone all three, or will that not work? Because you only, you're only supposed to have one, ain't you? I could do them separate, couldn't I? There you go. I'll do that in a minute. Just bear with us. Um, I won't have a winner. I'll just leave it as it is. Oh, actually, no, I will. I'll have Jade be the winner. All right, we'll have Jade as the victor. Um, advanced storyline. So that's two storylines advanced with that match. Right, let me just check what you put. I would have I would have the entire bloodline Cody in the angle okay. Rate Paul, Cody and the Rock Mike because they're amazing. Don't rate so little Jimmy. Okay, cool. That sounds good to me. We might break the record for the best angle ever at this at this rate. So we go Cody, microphone, the rock, microphone, or Heyman. No, not Pat McAfee. Or Heyman, microphone, Jimmy, not rated. So we won't bother having Roman Reigns in this one. We'll leave him out of it. How many minutes, Josh? How many minutes for the segment, do you reckon? Yeah, probably eight minutes max. Oh, okay, I usually do about ten minutes, but yeah, okay. Eight minutes, okay. And then we'll add a match and we'll do another four versus four just so we can get everybody on the show. So we'll do Cody. Uh, let's exclude already booked. Uh, let's do the bloodline first. The Rock, Roman, Solo, oh, Jimmy. And we just need some baby faces. Have a look at the roster. Who do you want? Who do you want in that match? Which baby faces do you want in to tag up with Cody? I'll let you. I'll let you two decide. Bearing in mind, we want to try and make it a decent match as well. Hello to the other people in the Twitch chat. Feel free to come and say hello. In fact, I'll, 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 I'll pick him. Uh, probably Rey Mysterio, because he's probably one of them. Hold on. Somebody's messaged in the chat. Let me check. Hello, Kitan004. Nice to hear from you. Nice to see so many of you. How are you today? Any suggestions on... Oh, you can't see the roster, can you? I'm just saying to you lot, who, and you can't even see the roster. How are you today, Kitan? Are you Okay. Sorry, lads. I do this all the time. I keep forgetting you can't see what I can see. There you go. I'm thinking Rey Mysterio is one of them. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh, no. My foot's on my cable. 
That's oh, alright. Can you hear me? Where are you from, Katan? Are you from the uh, the lovely UK? Because it's always wet and miserable here. Thank you for joining my small community. Cody, Ray, Andrade, Callisto. Sounds good. Where in the UK are you from then, Katan? Ah, down south, are we? Are you a Pompey uh, Portsmouth football fan or...? Nah, I just live there. I'm not, oh, okay, so you're from up north. What, what football team do you support then? Josh, is Brighton, is Brighton close to Portsmouth? You're from Brighton. Is that close to Portsmouth? I assume not. It probably isn't. Um, one or two, so we just need to book one more match. Let's see how many, not be penalised. Okay, so we do one more match. What's the other storylines we've got on SmackDown again? We've got Legrado. Not too bothered about the Legrado LWO one at the moment. Bloodline. Mm. Oh yeah, I need to, before I do anything else. Kevin Owens. Interference. I will reply in a second. I'm just, I'm a typical bloke. I can't multitask. Right, let me just keep up with the chat. Oh no. Are you a man are you are you also Katana, are you also a uh Man United fan like I am? <laughs> oh, I found somebody to dwell in my pain. Um an eighteen minute SmackDown match. Yeah, I've changed the product for um WWE to have to be more focused on matches. Oh Burnley. Yeah, but you know. I mean, you're in the Premiership. I know. I mean, it could be worse. I I, I quite enjoyed. Did you Did you watch the documentary series on Burnley when uh when they got promoted and that? I quite enjoyed that. I liked that. So I I kind of want Burnley to do well because I enjoyed. I like the owner. I think he's got a, a like a good. He, he seems like really in, interested in the club. Yeah, if you go down though, I think you'll just go back up, won't you? You'll be a yo-yo club until you can figure it out. I think you'll be all right in the grand scheme of things. I know you probably prefer the good old days where you had Daishi, but that was some that was some depressing football at times. But I did make some money when I used to gamble. I did put a tenner on Burnley to beat Liverpool one or two seasons ago, and they're beating one nil. I was buzzing. Fair play to Katan. How old are you anyway? You are you are you are you around about the same age as us? How old are you? Are you a youngster? Are you an oldster? Not that you need to tell me, it's none of my business. I'm just being nosy.
39, same age as me, mate. Same age as me. You're young, young and vibrant. The most famous thing about Burnley is him. Did they do an episode in between us in, in Burnley? Was that when they were on a boat? Was that that trip where they went? No, that was that wasn't Burnley, was it? That was down, that was on the seaside, wasn't it? Josh, do we have the promo as a thing kicking off SmackDown? Uh, they were in a bus and they said they hate Burn. I can't remember that. I've watched In Between us so many times. Um, are you a fan of TEW, Katan? Have you played it before? Right, ready to go, lads. We're booking this now. We're ready to go. Right, ninety eight for the for the promo. The Rock enjoyed being off script. So did Paul Heyman. Uh, British Strong Style defeated Gorillas in Destiny. I got a seventy four rating. Uh, Pete Dunne sustained a grade three hamstring. Contusion, whatever that's called. Let me just quick, quick check the chat. Yeah, I'm just transferring the licenses to a new computer and laptop. Been working with a few people to re render the. Oh, okay, cool. I'm not too into the C verse, but Josh, he loves the C verse. So you two crack on if you want to chat about that. I don't mind going quiet and letting you have a few minutes to talk about it. I just said, I just don't know. Yeah, see, there you go. He loves it. He loves it, mate. He loves that as just as much as Dave loves his twins. So there's a guy. So just to confuse, just not to confuse you. So in Mr. FM, his name is Josh. He's my my friend. Um, and then the rest, that wrestling guy, ninety seven, is Dave. He's the biggest pervert you'll ever meet. Um, <laughs> um, he is literally a real life version of Quagmire. Um, but I have told him to make sure he's on his best behaviour when he's on here, so don't worry. <laughs> Dave, I'm only joking. Don't panic. <laughs> um, but no, Dave's a really nice bloke, and he's in a very lucky situation. He is in a thruple with uh, a, pair of, a pair of twin sisters, so he's living the best life. So there you go. Right, let's just go through this show. In a in a blah, 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 blah. so yeah so obviously Jay Cargill got the pin against Ayu Sky so that could mean a title match for Jay Cargill at some point. Uh, Peyton Royce seemed off a game so maybe if we picked a different wrestler she probably would have been better. The match was too short. Oh yeah, ten minutes. Oh, I forgot to change the match length. Ugh. Let me just... Oh, no, I'll just carry on. So we did an angle. Uh, Grayson Waller did well. Only got a 53 rating, though. The match not so good, though. So maybe maybe Grayson Waller doesn't need to be in the ring as much. Maybe just he's better off just doing promos for now. Uh, the fans hated the ending to the match, so they didn't like the fact that the, the match was... A cheap win. I suppose they only want straight wins here because it's proper rest. It's like New Japan, isn't it? They don't really want the 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 the, the cheap wins and stuff like that. The the DQ finishes and stuff, and it was too short as well. Too short. Eighteen minutes with Kevin Owens. I don't want to kill the poor bloke. Yeah, I keep forgetting, Josh. I get excited. I like to do the occasional DQ. Uh, occasional cheap win. So, uh, the stable, the stable, the group I formed myself, so I'm taking personal glory for this, six-pack, X-Pac, Robert Roode and James Storm. 
They beat Ricochet, Metallique, and Loki. And I've got a 78 match rating. Apparently it was too short as well. So I think we need to do at least 20 minutes from now on in each match. And then after the match, Six Pack attack the uh, the baby faces. Uh, apparently they needed more star power. Right, and in the main event, we had the the team of Cody Rhodes, Rey Mysterio, Callisto, and Andrade defeat the Bloodline stable of The Rock, Roman Reigns, Solo Sequoia, and Jimmy uh, Uso. Cody Rhodes pinned Solo Sequoia with the beautiful disaster. Cody Rhodes got an, he's got a 96 rating for in-ring performance. Jimmy Uso, 94. Solo Sequoia, 49. Roman Reigns 97, The Rock 72. So The Rock wasn't too bad. The Rock and Paul Heyman are an awkward pairing. So I've got to get rid of The Rock. Uh, I've got to get rid of Paul Heyman from The Rock. And I've also got to get rid of Sami Zayn from Shinsei Nakamura. Right, let's have a look. Oh, look at that, Josh. Look at that. Have you seen that, Josh? Look at that. That's a beauty, isn't it? There you go. See, we've it's it's only took us about twenty streams to get to, for me to get it right, but we've got there. Yeah, we need, like you said, we need to find the raw version of of that. We need to find people that are really good on the mic. CM Punk. We need CM Punk uh, in a microphone angle every raw. There you go. Sorry, Katan. Carry on, mate. Sorry, I just, we just this is the first time we've had a decent. One out of this. Yeah, matches need to be that. Oh, Katan, we, uh, on the previous stream, um, Josh, who's so the Mr. FM on here, decided to trick me into buying Pro Wrestling Sim. I don't know if you've heard of Pro Wrestling Sim. Have you heard of it? Have you played it? What do you think? It's like a, it's like a, uh, Josh, what's it, what's it like? It's like a, not as amped up version of TW in it, is basically what I'm trying to say. You already got the C verse database that he's that Katan's got. Okay, that's good. I'm good that t that the Adam's not going to be making any more TEWs. Yeah, never played it. There's another guy I've been working with who has been talking about these renders and putting them into. I think PWS has got potential to be a really good game, but they just need to add more. They need to get more meat on the bone. That's all it is. It needs to be a direct competition for TW because PWS is a lot better to stream and a lot easier to stream than than um, than TW because every time I click on a new screen on TW, I've then got to add it onto the software I'm using. So it is a bit annoying. So I'm hoping it does well. Pete Dunn is injured. Okay. Right. I'm just going to do a couple of things. You carry on talking for a second. Roster. So I've got to get rid of Sami Zayn, Ashinsky, Nakamura's manager. And then Paul Heyman needs to be... Paul Heyman, is, is it like more than one put? Hold on. There we go. Is Paul Heyman still Roman Reigns manager? Because I think I remember last, say, last one we did, he didn't like being... Yeah. So who's Paul Heyman? Paul Heyman will just manage Jimmy Uso and Solo with Sequoia then. You'd have thought having Paul Heyman as your manager would be really good. Right, Kevin Owens is really not happy right now. I've got to give him a bonus. There you go. He's all right now. He's happy. Uh, what was the other thing I was meant to do? I don't know. Uh, let's have a look at creative. Let's see what's happening here. Let's see if there's any changes. Right. So at the moment, the main guys on the 
The roster is obviously The Rock, Stone Cold, John Cena, Seth Rollins and Roman Reigns. Only two of these are full-time workers, which is not good, even though The Rock's been in a few matches recently. Next big things, Humberto Carrillo. They want me to push him by the looks of it. Uh, Rhea Ripley, Austin Theory, Tyler Bate and Dominic Mysterio. Hot Prospects, Tyler Bate, Rhea Ripley, Leo Rush, T. Knox and Chris Bay. Talk the talk, obviously the usual suspects here. Uh, showstoppers, nobody really stands out there as being different than before. Ring Generals, who's hot at the moment? Otis, Otis is uh, perceived by the fans to be a major star. He's the babyface at the moment. He's insane amount of momentum. He can do no wrong. Um, yeah. Who's not hot at the moment? Yeah, Ricochet, number one. Poor bloke. Hidden Gems. Let's see if they've got any wrestlers they recommend me signing. Warhorse, Andrew Everett, TJ Perkins, Sean Maluta. Uh, not really anybody there I'd want to bother with. Right, let me check the chat. You're not doing your New Japan um, diary anymore then, Josh. Have you decided against that? Oh, okay, cool. Well, let me know when you finally, if you finally get a chance to do the your real world diary, whether it's with New Japan, CNA, whoever you want to do it with, because I do like your diaries. I just don't, I just can't, I just can't get into like ones where it's not real wrestlers. Right, how long are we doing stream for? An hour and 22 minutes. So yeah, four o'clock, lads, I'll be off. Yeah, you could run two at the same time, couldn't you? You're still with us, Dave. I hope I didn't upset you earlier. I was only joking, mate. I'm not doing C-verse, no. Right, we've had a backstage incident. Basically, uh, Piper Niven, can you see what I can see? You can't, can you? I'll just read it out to you. Piper Niven was brought before wrestlers court, accused of failing to pick up a share at the tab on the shared rental car. The judge, Steve Austin, found a guilty, found a guilty and sentenced her to pay the full cost and reimburse her travel uh, partners. Piper Niven has the driven personality and currently happy, and it had a small positive impact on Piper Niven. So there you go. Right. So before I book this show, I'm just going to, for a laugh, just going to auto book this to see what the, or I'm not going to continue, so don't panic. I'm just curious to see what it will come up with. So we had Uncle Howdy versus Tazawa, Steve Austin versus Davey, Smoy, Davey Boy Smith Jr., a couple of angles, Cameron Grimes versus CM Punk, another angle, RVD versus John Cena, Finn Balor versus Batista, The New Day versus Heavy Machinery, Jay Uso versus Randy Orton, and then Nikki Cross versus Ronda Rousey in the main event. Jesus Christ. And they're all literally just seven, eight minute matches. We are not doing that. Right. I was just wondering what that would come on. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you could, you can get into it, I suppose, because I'm the same with um, our football manager with the new gens and stuff. But I just, I just don't think I can get into it, though. Yeah, it's definitely broken the autobook, which is a shame, really, because if it was a bit better, it'd be so much easier just to get it to autobook it. Right, let's... We're going to do a mixed tag match on this one to start this show. Um, there we go. We'll do 20 minutes. I'll leave it 
open to see who wins. It's probably going to be Sam Pong though. And then that way we can advance two storylines with this one. AJ, can you see what I can see? Oh, you bloody can't, can you? Sorry. Every time I've got to do this. There you go, you can see it now. Sorry, lads. Yeah, as long as you're right, Dave. I didn't want to... When I called you a pervert, I was just joking. You're not a pervert. I'm just teasing you. Right. Uh, Sam Punk. There we go. And then what we'll do is we'll do an angle. Eight minutes, as you said, because we can't do more than eight minutes. We'll do Sam Punk, microphone, AJ Lee... Uh, Drew McIntyre, Ronda, and then we'll just put CM Punk, we'll just put CM Punk promo. I hope you can see all that so you're not missing out. Yeah, you can. What's Drew's mic skills? Uh, hold on. Let me just catch up with the messages. Maybe you should read my diary when I do it and see if you like it. Yeah, true. Uh, even the AI booker is busy. Global Legends has my last say. I'll, 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 I'll quickly have a look and see what Mike skills Drew McIntyre's got for you. Uh, 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 uh. uh, Kitan, by the way, can you do me a big favour? Because I lost, I lost a follower on Twitch uh, last time I streamed. I think me doing PWS scared them off. Can you just um, do me a small favour? Can you just follow me on Twitch if you don't mind? If you if you don't want to, it's fine. But I would appreciate it. it gets me back up to forty one. Uh, microphone skills for Drew McIntyre is eighty six. Do you want me to have Drew McIntyre as part of the angle on the microphone as well, do you reckon? Add him to rate on my okay. Yeah, everyone follow me. It's Josh's fault I've lost that follower in the first place. <laughs> I'm only joking, Josh, by the way. I don't want you to be self-conscious about that. I was just teasing. Oh, I clicked on the match there. I meant to do that one. There we go. You know me by now, Josh. Me and Josh has never met Gatan, but we've known each other for many years. Through our mutual love of TEW, actually. Because he, cause he did a diary, a New Japan diary. And I really liked the way he did it. Because I was going to do my own diary. And then we just become good friends, didn't we, Josh? And he's been my biggest support since I started doing this. Uh, content creation. So I really appreciate him. He's my right-hand man. Why doesn't PWS doesn't make sense? Oh, okay. I've just started and after day one, the video is released. Oh, if only I'd known that when I did my TNA one, we could have signed Cody in the bloodline for TNA. That would have been hilarious. We could have signed Cody in the bloodline to TNA and then we could have had them job job to uh, Tommy Dreamer every, every week. That's what we could have done. Oh, I've got 42 followers now. So thank you, Katan, if you're one of them. And whoever's the other one that started following me, thank you to that other follower as well. Much appreciated. Company cutbacks are all the top. Uh... See, that's quite flawed. Yeah, broken, definitely. We've got five people in here now. Hello to anybody else in the chat. Much appreciate. I always I, I appreciate Josh and Dave. They are my consistent viewers. But I always like new people in here as well. 
Oh, Bazinga comes in as well, doesn't he? But he's not in today. Everyone followed work. Keep saying it, Josh. Just keep saying it every five seconds. <laughs> right, let's get back to booking this. So we've done this. We've done this. Right, let's have a look at the other storylines. We've got. I think I feel like we've got more storylines for Raw than we have for SmackDown. Braun and Walter. Actually, I think it's time for a Happy Corbin promo. Happy Corbin, microphone. Um, Seth Rollins, microphone. We do Corbin and Rollins promo. Happy Corbin. There we go. Uh, we'll boot, push that up there. And then add match. And we'll do Happy Corbin, Bron Breaker versus Ludwig and Giovinci. 20 minutes. We'll do, we'll just put Victor's, both of them. We'll do Domination, Bron Breaker and Happy Corbin. Uh, we just need to advance the storylines. Hold on, let me check the chat so I haven't missed anything. What's his mic skills? Who, Baron Happy Corbin? I'm assuming you don't mean Seth Rollins because he is pretty good on the mic anyway. I'll check both for you just so you, just so you make sure. Happy Corbin. Happy Corbin is 86 on the mic. He's got 86 in brawling. His flashiness and aerial is not so good. Psychology is 83. Uh, respect is only 35. Reputation is 83 though. Charisma 87. Microphone 85. Star quality 89. Sex appeal is only 30. I don't think he's that bloody bad. I've seen much worse wrestlers than him. Not that I'm like looking at him in that way, but um, right. So I don't think you you didn't want to look at Seth Rollins, did you? Let me just quickly look at Seth Rollins. So. Yeah, Seth Rollins is very good everywhere. Basically, star quality, ridiculously good. In fact, um, yeah, so. Oh no, what's happened here? Oh, this does it every so often where it just... Ah! Oh, there we go. Has that fixed it? No, it hasn't. Ah, Josh, any idea what, I'm do what to do? Can you see what I can see? It's broken. The game is broken, Josh. Tell me what to do. No idea. Great. Thanks. Thanks, Josh. <laughs> Damn it. Can I save the game? It won't even let me save it, will it? Uh, go back. Come on. Uh, I want to get out of that and I want to save it. Why won't it let me save it? Oh, for God's sake. I don't know what to do. I think I'm going to have to rebook this. Close some windows. No, I can't close any windows, Josh. The only one I can close is this. It's closing the game. Can I close this one? No. Right. You have not filled in all your competitors. Hold on. Right, let me see. 
I'm not booking that match, by the way. I just want to see if I can... Yeah, it's fine. Ah, there we go. We fixed it. We fixed it, everyone. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Whew. Yeah, I heard about him dying, that bloke. Uh, it is a shame. Yeah, let me just save this. So if we do have that happen again. There we go. Right, it's not. Too, it's all right now. We're all right, everyone. Uh, I know what my main event's going to be, by the way. with us where's advanced storyline there we go Oh, God's sake. Seth Rollins is complaining because I've done it as a draw. I don't care, Seth Rollins. You're... Everyone dies? What do you mean everyone dies? Oh, well, oh, oh, yeah, because that bloke died. Sorry, yeah, yeah, sorry. I'm just going to do a massive brawl to end Raw. Right, let me check in the chat. Lance Archer? What are you saying? Lan what, what's with Lance Archer? What did you say Lance Archer for? Oh, everyone dies, Lance Archer. Jesus Christ, I'm so off the ball today. Well done. <laughs> Cheers, John. Hello, Alex. Hello, my friend. How are you today? We've got two newbies in here now. I'm buzzing. Alex, if you haven't already followed me, give me a follow. I would appreciate it. I know it's a bit... I know you hate it when people say that, but um, if you don't want to, it's fine. Joke aside. How are you? What have you been up to today? Join in the chat. Do you play TUW? Do you like wrestling? Oh, okay, cool. There was um, there's a, there's a few people. There's a few wrestlers that actually do train in um, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. So yeah, just bear with us. I will reply to your other messages in a second. I'm just trying to book this as quickly as possible. Uh. What other storylines I got? Oh yeah. We'll do I'm doing this one just because I I've just always wanted to book this match. Um Oh I don't know actually. Okada? No, I'll just leave it. If if he loses, he loses. No, I can't I can't do this match yet. I can't do this match yet. I can't do it. Sorry. I want to do it, but I can't do it because I don't want either of them to lose and I don't think John Cena will want to lose. So, yeah, so I can't do it. I'm going to put Bronson Reed in here. Right, let me check the chat. Sorry. Yeah, I just want to just try and make it as big as possible. Just do these dream matches halfway in the, in the show. Oh, bloody hell, we've got three newbies in here now. 
Hello, JB. Oh, no, JBR3S. Yes, you've been on here before, haven't you, buddy? Your name sounds familiar. Yeah, keep following me, everyone. <laughs> Hold on. I'm catching up with all the messages. Just bear with us. Yeah, I was going to do Cena versus a card, but I can't do it. It's just not. It's not. Crazy pitch idea that I want to do in WWE. I'll go there raw. What's your idea then? What's your crazy pitch idea? Would you not want to tell us just in case? I could do it, Katan, but then who would win? You know what I mean? Do you know what? I don't care if John Cena's not happy. Everybody wants it, so we're going to get it. I can't do a draw on this one because I've done a draw on the other one. Uh, we'll keep John Cena strong though. We'll protect him as well. We'll just add an angle at the end where Shitstain Nakamura, as my girlfriend calls him, Shitstain Nakamura attacking Okada. So we have got a storyline with Okada. I'm buzzing, we've got some newbies in here. Thank you, everyone. Much appreciated. And if you're not following me, please follow me. <laughs> right, I'm just going to catch up with the, the, the chat. And then I'll start the show. Oh, apparently called, somebody called Louis, Louis on, Twi on Twitch has uh, mentioned me. So I appreciate him mentioning me. Thank you. I don't know why he's mentioned to me, but yeah, thank you. Oh, Carter in it. Um, sorry, I'm just catching up. Sorry. My idea is to have a nexus angle with me and spiky hair, and my members will have spike hair as well. The Island Boys, you could get the Island Boys. They've got spike hair. What about Jedward? Are you on about that type of hair? You could have Jedward. You and Jedward. You might not know who Jedward is, actually. Yeah, opener. No, I'm going to change it, innit? Should I change it? What do we want as the main event? Do we want a Carter versus John Cena as the main event? Do we want CM Punk and AJ Lee versus Drew and Ronda as the main event? Uh, the Wall Dogs versus Imperium, or Seth Rollins versus Walter. What do we want? Do a tag. So you don't want. So we don't. We're not. We're not doing. We're not doing John Cena versus Okada now. Ah, uh, I wish you lot would make up your mind. Fine. You boring buggers. Uh, Bronson Reed. Who are we going to have as shit stains uh, tag partner? No, it's as hard as a baby face. We can't do... I mean, we could do, like, do two baby face tag teams, but we can't see the... Oh, yeah, you can't. Sorry, everyone. Sorry to the newbies. You'll get used to me being unprepared. Josh and Dave's used to me. They know what I'm like. There you go. And then I've just got to do, oh, 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 there we go. I've just got to expand it like so. There we are. Ricardo's a heel. No, Ricardo's not a heel. Is, is he? Have I got Ricardo as a heel this whole time? No, Ricardo's not a heel because he'd be on here, wouldn't he? No, Ricardo's a baby face. Oh, I said he was. 
Did I initially have him as a hit? No, he's not a heel. Unless I said it by accident. I must have said it by accident. No, I think I said it by accident. So, um, Shin Shinsuke Nakamura's the heel, so maybe I might have said that by accident. I apologise. So, you've had a look at the roster. Uh, hold on, exclude. There we go. Look at it now, because the wrestlers already wrestled or excluded. Oh, God, there ain't much choice on the heel side. Finn Balor doesn't really make sense to have him in there. Dominic doesn't make sense him or Damien Priest. Cameron Grimes is not good enough. It's going to have to be Bronson Reed, isn't it? Yeah, it'll have to be Bronson Reed, everyone. That match is such a poor, that match is such a poor replacement for the John Cena or Okada match. Uh, open match. Decisive win. Uh, advanced storyline. Alright. Right, we're ready to go now. Um, I just need to... Yep, yeah, that's fine. Right, are we all happy now? Are we happier? Yeah, I probably said it day by accident. I don't know why I would say it. I didn't. I wouldn't do it on purpose. Um... I hope my mic's still working. Right. Right, I'm starting the show now, everyone. Thank you to, like I said, the newbies. I'm much appreciated. Uh, I'm just going to load up my Twitch page again, just see how many followers I've got now. I get all excited when I get a new follower. Ah, oh, it's still 42. Sad times. Anyway, right. Right, let's start the show. So, um, yeah, Okada and John Cena defeated Nakamura and Bronson Reed. Okada... Pin Bronson Reed. Got an 83 rating. Um, Bronson Reed had an 84 uh, performance. So that's good. So he did, he did his part. So that's good. After the match, we had Nakamura attack Okada to advance the storyline. Got a 73 rating. Um... I don't know, Kitam. Josh will probably explain it better than I would. Why was it only 83, Josh? You probably know better than me. Uh, an angle involving CM Punk, AJ Lee, Drew McIntyre and Ronda Rousey got an 85 rating. Drew McIntyre was a real star in the segment. So Drew McIntyre probably outshone CM Punk by the looks of it. Right, an exceptional match. Drew McIntyre, Ronda Rousey defeat CM Punk and AJ Lee. Ha! <laughs> Drew McIntyre pinned AJ Lee. <laughs> uh, with the sh the future shock. In ring performance, CM Punk only got a seventy nine in ring performance, so that's a bit sad. The heel team were the better team, ring performance wise. Um, we did a promo. Battle between Cor Happy Corbin and Seth Rollins. Got an 82 rating. For the newbies on here, I'm pushing Baron Corbin. I've called him... Ha we're calling him Happy Corbin for now. I might change him to the Lone Wolf Corbin at some point. Let me just check the chat so I'm not missing anything. No, nothing there. Right, carry on. So, in a uh, good wrestling, decent reaction. The War Dogs defeated Imperium. Bron Breaker pinned Ludwig Kaiser. Got a 73 rating. Let's have a look. Bron Breaker only had a 62 match rating, but that's that's expected because of his experience. Happy Corbin was the standout performer of the four, which is quite funny in hindsight when you think about it. Um, we did a we did a bleh, we did a Seth Rollins drew with Walter, double cat out, got a 94 rating. So that at least the double cat didn't completely shit on the match. And also it means Walter didn't lose, nor did Seth Rollins. So it keeps them both strong. Baron Corbin, I'm telling you now, him and Otis are the future of WWE at this rate. And then we did a segment which didn't go down very well, so maybe I should have left it. Um, Bron Breaker underperformed. So we did like a... An all-out brawl where they just brawled at the end of the show. End of the match, they all just brawled. Let's finish the show. 
88 rating. Not there we go, Josh. That's more like it. See? There we go. Do you know what? Because we've got quite a lot of people in here, I'm gonna do I'm gonna keep going till half four. I usually only do two hours, but I tell you what, who hasn't followed yet, if you follow, I'll do another half an hour. There you go. <laughs> um Josh, would you like to explain why the ratings are so high? Basically, we downloaded this database called Landox. Is it Landox? Uh, yeah, Landox. And then Josh updated it, and then I further updated it as well. So Landox is usually the best one when it comes to um, certain things. Like Josh will explain it to you. But he's probably typing the message as we speak. But yeah, thank, no, jokes aside, I know I keep asking people to follow, but I am joking. Um, I do appreciate whoever has followed. I've got two new followers today, so I'm absolutely buzzing for that. So I'm going to do, I'm going to keep going till half four UK time. So another 40 minutes yet. Uh, just to, to say thanks. So I do appreciate, which means we've probably got enough time to do one more show. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. Yeah, we're doing really well. I really appreciate the support. Appreciate everybody um, joining in the chat as well. But yeah, the Landox database is it, it's it's supposed to be the best one when it comes to accurate when uh, things with the attributes and things like that. Josh Josh will explain it better in a second. Uh, but yeah, how are you today, JBR three Z? How's your day been? What have you been up to? What's everybody been up to today? Are we all at work? I know Josh is at work. Dave, are you at work? Dave's probably living his best life, cuddled up with his partners. Lucky bugger. Huh. Someone just mentioned about Lance Archer, didn't they? Lance Archer's just been offered a new contract with AEW, so that could be an interesting development. WWE Raw was shown last night and got 19.727 million viewers. There you go, everyone. The power of Netflix, everyone. Right, okay. I just need to... Two seconds, everyone. I just need to, before I forget. Oh, no, no. Oh, I don't know what I was meant to do. Um, right, Seth Rollins is big morale, so I've got to give him big water cash, keep him happy. How much money have we got at the moment? No, I don't want to exit. Ooh, that was close. Got 49 million in the bank. There we go. Last month, you made 3.39 million. We've got a 90 prestige and 86 momentum. Next show is SmackDown in three days. So let's see if we can book SmackDown before we go. That was it. Land XX created it. There you go. Yeah, you need somebody really to like... Josh, I don't know why you don't make your own data updates for TEW because you're really good at them, to be honest. My experience is you're very knowledgeable, especially on the New Japan side of things in TNA. I'm glad I'm entertaining you all when you're meant to be working. <laughs> We 
got a three-way battle for Lance Archer at the moment between me, AEW, and New Japan. So we'll see how that goes. Yeah, that's true. And then it took me probably about five or six hours to update it even more, didn't it? If not, if not longer. Yeah, I know what you're saying. It does take a lot of work. Yeah, because we had we've got Otis and Corbin that's too high, and then there were certain ones that were too low that we had to fix afterwards. Eventually, I'm going to do a TW save live on here. Where I'm, I'll be the bottom promotion in America, and I'll just slowly build myself the promotion up. Where I'll just we'll start with one show a month, and then we'll just build it up a little bit at a time, and do it sensibly. Yeah, I could call it Lucha Lucha FM Wrestling, <laughs> LFMW. There you go. Yeah, eventually we'll do what we'll do. We'll do a year with WWE, and then we'll see Lucha Pro Wrestling is another good one. Yeah, we'll do a year with W. Yeah, but no, because then it'll have to be Lucha Wrestling. I don't want it to be just Lucha Wrestling, do I? Oh, we've also had an offer from New Japan America for Lance Archer. Shayna Baszler's injured. Yeah, Shayna Baszler has a broken breastbone. There you go. That's one for you. That's one for you, Dave. Let's have a chuckle at. I know your sense of humour, buddy. <laughs> Pete Dunn's out for 34 days and Shayna Baszler's out for 39 days. I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking, Dave. Oh, for God's sake, Dave. <laughs> you always have to take it there, don't you? Live in the gimmick, ain't you, brother? You'd be the biggest heel in wrestling right now if you were, if you were a wrestler. <laughs> right. We're coming up to SmackDown now. There we go. SmackDown, no backstage segments let me just click on this so you can see that yep so you can see that anyway back on subject dave i think a couple of people's left now not because of you they'd already left i'm only joking um but yeah thank you to any new people that come along much appreciated always nice to have new people chatting Dave Meyer, the decorator. Stop encouraging him, Josh, for God's sake. Right, I'm just going to auto-book this for a laugh. I'm not going to actually do it. I'm just going to see what they book. Don't panic. And then we're just going to say... So, Rey Mysterio versus Carmella Hayes. That would actually be a pretty good match. And then we have Cody Rhodes versus Rey Mysterio's dad. Los Leferios versus A-Town Down Under. The Chosen Bros. Who is the Chosen Bros? Oh, yeah. Matt Riddle and Jeff Cobb, sorry. Versus the Street Profits. Bianca Belair versus Charlotte. And then the main event, AJ and Kevin Owens versus the Hurt Business, Pollock Creed and Bobby Lashley. There you go. We'll just clear that. Right, let's have a little... Another, actually, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to start this off with a massive match. We're going to have LWO versus uh, the Grotto. I can't think what the names are now. Cruz, that's it. Cruz, Dotaro, and Joaquin Wild. And then we'll do Santos. Uh, who's the other members? The Grotto. Oh, there won't be enough to do that. Oh, there will. I know what I'll do. No, 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 no. We ain't got enough. We need some more members in Legrado uh, eventually. 
Uh, Jade Cargill's on Raw, I think, with Bianca. But I'll have a look in a sec. I just need to change this match to a triple threat. Um, three versus three match, sorry. Oh, no, no, no. Four versus four, yeah. That's what I meant to do. Right. Rey Mysterio, not senior. Jesus Christ. Um, Selena. And then we'll do Carlito, Primo versus Santos, Ivelisse, Angel, and Humberto. Uh, we'll keep strong Humberto because he the the creative said that he wants to that he's a hot prospect he's our best prospect so we'll keep him strong open match decisive win and then we'll scroll down here advanced storyline LWO LWO there we go and then I'm going to do an angle. Let me just check the chat first so I ain't missing anything. No. Um, eight minutes. Do Rey Mysterio. Microphone. Santos. Microphone. We'll try him on microphone and see how he gets on. Selena. We'll leave the rest. Won't give him any purpose. Kalito. Kalito's got on the mic. We'll leave. We'll have Kalito on the mic. Um, Angel Garza. And we'll have Humberto on the mic as well. We'll test this out. We'll see how we get on with this. Might be too many people on the mic, but we'll soon find out. Right, let me just check the chat, see what you think. Are you happy so far with the booking of it? The tag team one now. Let's see if... Oh, actually, I think Bianca and... Uh, no, Bianca and... I stand corrected, Dave. Um, yeah, Bianca and Jade's on here. So we'll do Bianca, Jade, and we'll just give them some people for them to destroy. We'll do that. We'll do Peyton Royce and Billy Kay. Yeah, we'll do Billy Kay and Billy. There we go. Uh, domination, we'll do Jay Cargill dominating. Oh, decisive win, pinfall win. Uh, I was meant to do something, I can't remember what I was meant to do. Advanced storyline. Right, so that's that. Billy Kay is not happy, but she'll just have to get over it. And then we'll do an angle. We'll do Billy Kay. We'll have Peyton Royce on the mic because she's better, the better one out of the two. And then Jade, microphone, Bianca, leave. Eight minutes. I'm ignoring what's happening in the chat, by the way. I'm not. I'm not biting. Promo battle women. We'll just put promo battle women. Josh, you're supposed to be modding him. You're supposed to be putting him in his place when he's being naughty. Tell him off. Do your job. <laughs> Don't leave it up to me. Give him a warning. Give him a. Give him a first warning. Come on. 
Show me you got some authority in you, Josh. Right, let's have a look at the other storylines for SmackDown. You'd think by now I'd know them. Oh yeah, Cody. Cody, 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 Cody. Who are there? Cody, microphone. The Rock. Microphone. No, nope, microphone. Eight minutes. Or Heyman. Microphone. Roman Reigns will do microphone as well. And then Jimmy Uso, leave him. Solo Sequoia, leave him as it is. We'll just do the bloodline. Cody, promo. So a lot of this will be very similar every time. Once we get into a groove, it'll probably be the same type of things. The occasional twist here and there. We'll do Cody versus Jimmy. Right, let me just check the chat so I don't I don't want you to feel like I'm neglecting you. Josh, you have no authority whatsoever, do you? You this is not a carry on film. <laughs> Tell him off. Show me you've got it in you. Give him a red card, Josh. All right, uh, that's that. We need that as the main event. Uh, we need that, that. We'll have that as the middle of the... No, we'll do that just before the match. Uh, yep, so how long we got left now? We've got 94 minutes, we've still got, we're all right, we're doing well. Red card, there you go. Who will Walter take on at WrestleMania? At the moment it's going to be Bron Breaker, but that could change. We could always, we could put Otis in there somewhere, couldn't we? I hope we haven't got any uh, female viewers on this Twitch at the moment. I can't imagine that we will, because um, they'd be very put off right now. <laughs> right, I think AJ Styles needs to be in a match. AJ Styles. Uh, is he a heel? He's a heel, isn't he? Yeah. We'll do baby faces. Uh, Ricochet, there we go. AJ Styles versus Ricochet. That should be a fun match. Right. Are we happy? Shall I crack on? Shall I click continue? Let me know, lads. Josh, are you happy with that? Do you think there's do you think there's anything missing? You're happy with that, yeah? Okay. Needs a women's match. Oh. Can I put can I put it on the pre-show? Cargill's already wrestling. She's in a tag match, remember? I've got a women's tag match. I've got Bianca and Jade, Jade versus the Iconics. Haven't I? Battle, yeah, the All Star Team. They're called the All Star Team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, right. I'll crack on then. 
There we go. Ricochet defeated AJ Styles in 21 minutes with a pinfall with a shooting star press. 84 rating. So at least we know they've got good chemistry in the ring. Um, that only got a 64 rating. Peyton Royce did a masterful job of improvising instructions with the crowd. Jay Cargill did well. Oh, okay. apparently Jay Cargill performed poorly as well, but that doesn't make sense. Okay. Maybe she's not as good on the mic as I thought. Maybe I shouldn't do it next time. Um, All-Star team defeat the Iconics. Got a 74 rating. BDK was the weak link of the, t the match. This angle was pretty good. Only got a 60 rating though. Rey Mysterio is a real star. Humberto Carrillo enjoyed having the freedom to go off script, so that's good. Um, so, the bad guys won. Uh, Angle Gaza, Pin Carlito. Angle Gaza seemed off his game. Got a 75 match rating. That's about it, really. Nothing else worth saying. Right. Paul Heyman struggled when he went off script. Oh, okay. Only got a 90 rating in this one. Everybody else looked all right, though. The Rock obviously carried it. Uh, Roman Reigns did well as well. So next time we'll do the same promo, I think, maybe. And then try and remember to have Paul Heyman scripted. I do think that's that's a flaw in the game, because Paul Heyman's one of the best people on the mic ever. And then Superb Wrestling, good and great heat. Cody Rose defeat G Jim Uso with the crossroads. Got a match rating of 90. Apparently Jim Uso, Jim Uso and Cody Rhodes didn't, don't seem to click. Still got a 90 though, which was quite good when you think about it. There we go, 86 rated. No, I like the chemistry thing, Josh. I think it makes it. I think it makes it. It's it's good. I think it's good to know because if you have a random match and they have great chemistry, you can then do that into a feud. Or you could, or like if they got random, if you do, if you do like a random, sh like a show with random tag partners, and they end up becoming really good tag team partners, I, that's what I like. That's why it's, that's why I used to like doing the auto booker stuff because they would book random people to be in tag matches together, and then I'd create my own tag teams from that. Right, so that's that done. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to forward it, um, to elimination chamber, and then I'm going to save it there and call it a day there, lads. Because um, I ain't got time to book. No, I ain't got time, Josh. The missus will be back in a, in a minute. I've got to, I've got to, I've got to clean the house. Sorry, mate. But what that means is on, yeah, I'm doing FM tomorrow, so I'll be doing, um, yeah, I'll be starting that new save in Uganda, so it might not get as many people into it. Um, hopefully they'll be interested in it though. And then on Monday I'll be back doing this. And then we can do um, elimination chamber. Bianca Belair's contract's expiring, so I've got to I've got to negotiate a new contract with her. Oh God, Bianca Belair wants creative control. Oh no, I could just if I just yeah if I just give her more money, she'll just ignore that. Oh for God's sake! Hold on, hold on. That's all right. I've sorted it. I've sorted it. Don't panic. Smackdown got 19.8 million viewers. Okay, I'll tell you what, I'll do T E W tomorrow. I'll do I'll do T E W tomorrow. I can I can wait for I I might just leave the Uganda save for now. I'll I'll do T E W tomorrow. I'm easily swayed. 
if it, if it keeps everybody happy, I'll do TEW, not tomorrow. Did I say tomorrow? Yeah, tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow. Because I might get bored at Uganda thing, so... There you go, happy days. But I want I want you to invite more people. <laughs> you get more people on here. Right, we've just signed Lance Archer away from AW everyone. The, the meaty men division is getting better. Bad Bunny's gone off on tour. He's off on tour apparently. Right. So we are done for today. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Josh. Thank you, Dave. Thank you to the uh, the newbies as well. Um, I don't think it would be worth doing the hardcore title because we're not doing... Uh, thank you, JBR, Freeze Air. Thank you for joining in. Um, thank you to the other two newbies as well. Um, Kitan and Alan. So, yeah. But, yeah. Yeah, we're getting through the shows quicker now, so... Hopefully we can get quite a bit done. But yeah, thank you to everyone. Um, yeah, we can't do the hardcore title, by the way, Dave, because we're not doing that style of product, so it wouldn't benefit it, unless we had the hardcore title, but we never did hardcore matches. It'd be different if it was AEW, wouldn't it? It'd be probably perfect for AEW. But yeah, right, I'm off, everyone. Thank you, as always. Uh, enjoy the rest of your evening. Thank you, Josh. Thank you, Dave. Thank you, everybody else. See you later, everyone. I'll see you tomorrow, um, 2 p.m. UK time. Bye.